If you don't have a purpose-built force multiplier, an environmental one will do. Hi everybody, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Cell Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video, best I can tell, comes to us from Chile. But if you have a better news story, please leave it in a comment so I can add it to the description, would you? Ammo is crazy expensive and hard to find, and dry fire is life. I use the Mantis X10 to keep my handgun skills strong, and it makes dry practice fun and challenging. Check it out at the link below. This man is just pumping diesel into his car, minding his own dang business. When these guys are gonna come up and a bunch of them pile out to rob him, and when he sees that happening, he just decides to pull the diesel pump and get after it on these guys. Now the one on the right there actually looks like he had some kind of a tool, maybe even a gun in his hand. Didn't matter, he hosed them down and they decided they had better things to do with their day. One more time, let's see him get it. Watch this guy, they're gonna jump out of the car and when he sees that, he starts hosing them down with the diesel and they ain't liking it. And so they all get in their car and run off. Lots of lessons for us to think about here. Props to him for his ingenuity. Hey, if you like the lessons that you get here, would you make sure you're subscribed? You know, about 60% of our views come from non-subscribers. And if you hit that subscribe button, it lets you know when we post a new video every day. And that gives us a better opportunity to help you cover your ASP. So first things first, this is a transitional space and you got to pay attention in transitional spaces. One little bit of advice, what I like to do, I like he's got his doors closed here. I like to let the pump go on auto. So, you know, you use the automatic feature there to let it keep pumping and then take a step or two back from the car. It gives you a little bit more visibility around the pumps and gives you an opportunity to see what's going on in your world a little bit better. And so if you can do that in your environment, I'd recommend it. Uh, that gives you a little bit more time. Now, guys are jumping out here and a big robbery is going on. Okay, fine. Would I rather this person have dedicated self-defense tools on him? Absolutely, right? I'd rather have a purpose-built tool than an environmental tool. But if you don't have a purpose-built tool, you use whatever is available to you. And, and it would have been an option here, especially if he's locked his car doors to just sprint get the heck out of there and see if that buys you some time see if that demoralizes them and they they get out of there but probably only a good idea if you actually have a firearm on your person or something like that instead he decides to use the diesel pump now i think this is kind of rare i think in in a lot of places that that pump would immediately stop when you picked it up like that but not where he is so hey it's an effective tool if you have to use an a, a environmental tool i think you use what you have in the moment and you use it to the best effect now that said, there's some dangers here. I think at least one of these guys is armed. And so you're at a real disadvantage fighting with environmental tools against purpose-built tools. But again, attitude is king, right? Matters more even than skills and plan. Now I do want you to notice here that I think the first guy at the bottom was armed, but it certainly looks like right here, you can see that little white streak that the guy that's on the right here has some kind of tool that he is pointing at our dude, which could very well be a firearm. But thankfully he's using that firearm here as an intimidation tool. And of course, not every perp who actually shows a gun is willing to use that gun, but I wouldn't trust that. I mean, we've seen too many people that are willing to use the gun on the channel in order to say, yeah, he probably won't use it. Well, he very well may, but a face full of diesel will make a guy rethink his life choices in a hurry. And that's what these guys did. Of course, finally, don't just stand there once they start getting the heck out of there, put that pump away in a hurry and get the heck out of there, get out of the danger zone to safety. So I think this one's pretty funny. I think the guy did a great job. He protected himself and his family and he covered his asp.